For over half a decade have we waited for this moment. 2B2T has updated to Minecraft 1.19, a combination of seven major Minecraft updates happening all at once to one of Minecraft's oldest server maps. This was by far the most anticipated thing to happen in the entire history of 2B2T, and it's ruined. I have nothing more to say about the Minecraft update. At this point, it's old news. We've already been through the hype Mojang has made time and time again with each update, and we know what to expect. Don't get me wrong, 2B2T updating is a huge deal, but that's beside the goal of me making this video. That goal being the discussion of this. With the 1.19 update came the worst possible decision making you could ever do on an Anarchy Minecraft server of this nature. Soft item economy reset? Yeah, that seems consistent with what it literally says right next to this. So it looks like 2B2T has removed end crystals from all storages, reduced XP bottle stacks to one, same with gapples, and removing totems from all chests. But this is just the short list given by Housemaster. Here is the full list reported by 2B2T players in regards to what items were altered. As you can see, the list is massive. These include ender chests and elytras. Good luck as a new player trying to find an unrated end city within 150,000 blocks of spawn. Housemaster claims that duplication exploits have caused significant damage to the server, and that these items were to be reduced or removed to soften future impact upon 1.19 and later. What do you mean damage? This is a free-for-all server. So we spent $20 a month either duping or obtaining the items legitimately, only to get punished? There was never a rule that said we couldn't do that. Oh, but now there is. Do not attempt to undermine the server's efforts to provide every player an equal and fair playing environment through means such as abusing any exploit, bug, or flawed game mechanic to cause server disruption or lag. So it looks like it is against the rules to dupe on an anarchy server now. The decision to add this rule and reset all those items is absolute insanity. 2B2T is supposed to be the server that never resets, as it says right here. Yet the server had a reset. One of the major reasons I joined 2B2T back in 2016 was because I was frustrated with the idea of Minecraft servers always resetting their maps. I wanted my work and progress to last, not to be taken away artificially by a server admin. Today, this no longer stands true, and it gets worse. Old Chunk Trimming Housemaster made the decision to remove old chunks that were generated for less than a few seconds but were never interacted with. This is problematic for a few reasons. When players travel to bases, they may load chunks very quickly, creating a path of 1.12 terrain to their base. When the server updated, it's possible some of those paths were deleted, now making those bases kind of like islands with new terrain surrounding it. This doesn't make any sense to me, as bases that have trails with terrain from the same version going to them is inherently a part of that base. Even though they were just loaded for a few seconds, I hold the belief that those chunks still have value. 2B2T is already filled with these same types of paths from older Minecraft versions. So by resetting these chunks to generate new terrain, history is essentially just being erased. And come on, 23 terabytes of SSD storage is only a one-time cost of 150 priority queue purchases. Now let's go over some of the other stuff very briefly. Maps now generate with a random ID. I don't see how this really helps anything. I mean, map IDs now have a limit of over 4 billion, which would equate to resetting the maps in 1.12 131,000 times. I just don't think that change is very necessary. Render distance increased? Well, I'll call that a good change. The new world generation is now using a modified vanilla generator that is used to hide the seed. I personally don't really like this change as it makes it extremely difficult to find structures like woodland mansions but I guess it makes sense so people can't use terrain exploits to find bases. Still though, I don't support this change at all. Animal spawning works again. Alright, that's cool. Phantom spawning is disabled. I am 100% A-OK -okay with this. Player obfuscation, meaning you can't see player's health or armor durability with cheats. 
I just don't see why this is necessary at all, but whatever. Duplication prevention. Yeah, this just sounds like a joke to me. We'll see if this system in place can actually prevent future dupes. End gateways are now fixed. Alright. Anti-X-ray, which House now says he may revert later. Good thing, because I'm also 100% against this. And death messages are basically pointless now. There has also been other stuff that happened to the server not on this list, like removing green text, and every single block of illegally placed bedrock being destroyed, which is just sad. Yes, they were placed illegally 10 years ago, but why remove them? I'd rather have a player use a bedrock breaking exploit and brag about it everywhere than for it to be done artificially. Now here's my response to all of this. I'm not mad that a significant amount of my items are gone, or my ability to trace down chunk trails is now a thing of the past. The problem is that this sets an extremely dangerous precedent for 2B2T's future. The server has had a very long track record, over a decade of never resetting the map, and only intervening on specific cases when absolutely necessary. This update completely throws that idea to the ground. So at this point, I can no longer trust 2B2T in that regard. There is no telling that if another duplication glitch or some other exploit happens in the future, what would the owner do about it? Delete all the golden apples again? Sorry, Housemaster, but this is not what I originally signed up for, and it's now pointless for me to even make progress on a server that I can no longer rely on to be safe, even from 2B2T admins. So starting immediately, I will no longer be giving 2B2T the free advertising through my videos like I have been for the past 7 years on this platform, and once I have recorded all the footage I needed for this video, I will be emailing 2B2T to request a refund of my Priority Q status. And I encourage everyone who has purchased Priority for the 1.19 update to do the same. And actually, many have already done so. Guys, I'm not alone on this. A huge portion of 2B2T's player base agrees that these changes Housemaster has made to the server are not only unreasonable to the greatest extent, but completely diminishes the integrity of 2B2T's anarchy status. If you still want to play on the server, that's your choice. After all, 1.19 is extremely appealing. Just know that 2B2T is no longer advertised as being anarchy. It is now a survival server with rules just like everything else. So unless the server owner reverses these changes, it will be very unlikely that I will continue making 2B2T videos in the future. The server no longer deserves the praise it has been given, and Housemaster needs to reevaluate his decision making, because it is simply not right.